Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. This weekend I was in Chicago and uh, had a great time with family and friends. Visited some uh, Yugo friends as well. Uh, thanks to Daniel from Chicago for letting me borrow this tool. Good friend. Uh, met him through Yugo's, believe it or not. He found this tool on eBay. Original Yugo made. It's uh, been looking for one of these for a while. Couldn't find it. I did find one, but this is a wrong size. It's for different size rings. Uh, I am replacing wheel bearings. Even though these are still good, I figured I'd throw in new bearings. And uh, this is the type of bearings that they use crew in rings, not the snap ring you usually see. I don't like them, but uh, with this tool you can actually torque them down the specs they're supposed to. I've uh, had one tool made, but it wasn't hardened steel and it just uh, keeps slipping. It wasn't uh, made like this. This is a heavy duty original made for these. So after you uh, take this uh, piece out, then you'll see this ring on top. You have to use this tool to remove it. I mean, you can remove it with um, screwdrivers and whatnot, but to torque it down, you actually have to have a tool. Otherwise, these wheel bearings will go out quick. Got that out, and I gotta tell you, the smell of this grease, and if you see it's all coming out, it's bad. I uh, burned somebody, drove this car with a dragging brake caliper, and it got hot it got really really hot before that's why the grease uh, the bearing was replaced at some point it says made in Italy which is not original and it's burned the grease is all burned out which means uh, somebody was overheating that's why the grease came out wasn't sure why and now I know the smell is horrible so next thing to do put this in the vise Get this special tool right here, put it like uh, like so, just like this, and get the half inch ratchet and unscrew it. Any normal cars, you'll have a, just a regular snap ring here, and just grab your snap ring pliers and take that out, but this is not a normal car, this is a Yugo, so you have to have a special tool that goes in here. And uh, looking at this, the person that installed it before didn't have this special tool, didn't get it tied right. It's not supposed to come out this easy. And uh, that's it, Italy. Yeah, this grease all burned out. This bearing was overheating. Next thing to do is press this bearing out from this side goes out this way press in the new one uh, sometimes you'll have a collar half of this bearing that's stuck uh, to this piece right here and this time it didn't, it didn't stay on sometimes you have to use a tool like this or if you have an air chisel I usually just grab an air chisel and chisel it out so this part right here, it's pretty easy, goes the same way, you just push it out and that's it. There you go. And that's old bearing. Yeah, grease is just coming out, it's uh, getting dry just because um, it was overheating. That's what happens. Time to put the new one back in. And that's all the way in. All the way to the top. Old bearing down, new one here. 
and uh, it's time to put that uh, screw in ring. So I got my service manual, uh, checked for the torque spec on that ring. I knew it was uh, way more than uh, this one was tight, but if you look right here and press the bearing to the knuckle until you see the screw the fanag or lock ring into the thread section and torque to 159 foot pounds. Holy mother of God. I don't even know if that ring is gonna hold that much torque. Uh, oof. Yeah, I didn't have this tool when I did mine. Hopefully mine, uh, that's why they fail quicker because without that tool, you can never get them torqued that much. In, new tool. Let's, let's see what happens. go wish me luck where is that thing back hold it like that Ugh. Got my bike. snap ring on and uh i usually like to push my knuckle on top uh get the piece one of these will do whatever just uh, push on the inner side of the bearing and just go all the way you feel it you can't go anymore and that's it that's all you have to do take that off this off check should be spinning really nice and tight well not tight but no play next to do next thing to do is put the dust shield back on and that's it built today from that latest Hugo I picked up uh, they are seized both of them actually so I gotta take everything apart clean up rebuild put it back on just uh, another piece of a puzzle don't be too lazy go get the hammer Try to press these out. Gotta clean everything up. Put new brake pads, sandblast these, paint them. Same thing with the brake calipers. But first thing first, I'm gonna see if I can actually get these uh, pistons to come out. First thing, take this seal off. This dust shield, I should call. Probably what I'll do is uh, soak some PB blaster in there and hope that it actually works. This is just a dust shield for a bunch of PB blaster in here and. Uh, Hopefully that uh, PB blast back in the garage and rebuild these calipers. I got four of them, so I have two extra. And uh, I just spray them with PB blaster, soak them, so these pistons come out easier. But sometimes you actually have to use a torch, heat them up, and press, uh, push compressed air through this hole. So this piston comes out. Usually got a old hammer that kind of holds this in place, so the piston doesn't come flying wow yeah brake fluid just flying out but uh, make sure you use safety glasses so I guess I'll have to uh, get my torch okay got this one to move so I think it might even come out easier with the channel locks. Yeah. You see it's coming out. Just to heat it up and 
she turning it? Drive the air, see if the air will actually push it out now. Maybe. Oh, it's coming. There it is. There is the piston. I gotta find something. Yep. Yeah, just make sure you always have something. Because that piston will kill you. have one out honestly I think this one just might be dirty it's hot now I don't want to touch it so I'll take everything to my parts washer wash it off with the diesel and check them all uh, yep there's one rubber seal in there that keeps the oil from coming out that's what seizes up inside sometimes you'll have a break old brake fluid um, that usually does the same thing and uh, yeah I got three more to go and then I'll go clean them up always wear these and compress the air some heat got these calipers really nice and clean next thing to do Dremel and wire wheel and clean these channels where the seals go Got new rebuild kit, new seal, new dust seal. I also got some uh, good pistons, really, really nice ones. And of course, gotta have Vaseline. So, first oil seal. That's good. Now a lot of lubrication. It's not gonna hurt. Add some more Vaseline. Don't be shy. Don't be afraid. Soak that in. Put some more. Drop that piston down that boom done now if you have a plastic pick like that just push that dust shield inside that takes a little bit of time just like that and gotta do one can you brake bleeder as well it both of these are done rebuilt new seals I'll check them for leaks clean them some more once you put them on a the car that's it they're done I'm going to do something that not many people agree with is the correct way to do it no do I have options in this car I do but it's very very expensive and uh, I'm not gonna spend two grand or 1500 bucks for coilovers for this thing Funny. Uh, I'm doing the same thing I've done on mine, put 7,000 miles uh, over, uh, beat the heck out of this car, tail the dragger, does not bounce. I'm cutting these springs, which means lowering car a little bit. I'll probably cut about a coil and a half. I've done uh, two coils in mine. I just want to lower it a little bit and I'll show you how this is done. Uh, you don't have to do it. I strongly suggest you don't do it, but if you want to lower it, that's a cheap way to do it. Otherwise, you can spend $1,500 to $2,000 coilovers on this thing. And uh, they do make them, uh, same thing as a Fiat X19. 
Fiat 128. Uh, but I'll go cheap route and uh, does not bounce. My car does not bounce. Yeah, okay. First thing first, you gotta get yourself some of these spring compressors. You can rent them, you can buy them, they're pretty cheap. Uh, a lot of places actually, you can just go and rent one. I've had these for years, so you do have to compress spring, otherwise you'll come out and hurt you. Yeah, these are pretty cheap. You can pretty much pick them up um, anywhere. Amazon, Auto Parts, everybody has them, so. some grease on this bearing there's the bearing here put this back together check the shock make sure it's now leaking oh yeah it's a good shock actually you don't have to cut a bump stop at all it's only one and a half coil so now what I gotta do okay maybe cut it so this will be one coil all the way around and a half a coil would probably stop right here okay it's a pretty 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 long spring so first thing first cut it then clean it then uh, paint it and then I'll put it back together. top and not the bottom so that's perfect this will work so same thing to do with the next one and I'm gonna go clean this one up paint it okay so got these springs cut they're drying up um, one thing is I was gonna just replace one side control arm but I just can't doesn't look right reason why I had to replace one of them because this boot has had a cut and if you see this this is all dust because water just kept going inside dried up and uh, by now it's just the dust coming out so it's bad can't just replace one so I decided to put Brand new control arms on both ends. Brand new brake lines. Tie rods are really tight, so I'm not gonna touch those. But um, yeah, it's getting pretty much almost everything. Uh, new bushings, sway bar. This is my extra transmission that I have to rebuild as well. Uh, this wheel bearing has some play, so I'm gonna replace that even though uh, say it's made in Italy so it has been replaced I'm not sure what's going on so we're gonna replace that uh, slowly it's getting back together once everything is done then I'll uh, go and 
<clears throat> touch up everything. Okay, that's it. Everything is nice and tight. All I gotta do now is grab my brush and do a few touch-ups, let it dry, and tomorrow morning I'm gonna start putting this back together in the car. <laughs> 